If you do a lot of teaching, a lot of speaking, and would really love to get a good quality and inexpensive recording of your audio, this is the video for you. Many of us go out and we guest preach, we guest teach, we lecture, we go to lectureships and we're recording things. It's really nice to be able to get a copy of what it is that you're teaching. If you're teaching a Bible class in your own congregation, uh, or you just need to be able to get a quick, easy copy of what it is that you're preaching uh, on an audio recording, it is really not difficult to do. All you're really going to need is an iPhone, uh, a, just a smartphone in general, and a very inexpensive mic. Now, the microphone that I'm talking about is a Boya, B-O-Y-A microphone. This microphone has a 19-foot cord, and I'm going to explain it from one end to the other. So on the 3.5 millimeter jack, you have three rings. This is a TRRS uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. Two of the rings on it are the right and the left, that's your stereo, and the third one is your microphone or data input. This TRRS is what goes into a, an iPhone. Now to make this plug into like an iPhone 8, iPhone 9, etc., you're gonna just use the exact little cable that came with your iPhone. This is a TRRS to lightning. You're gonna plug the Boya microphone in. You have a little toggle button in the middle that is either your camera, which Again, the TRRS will plug into a DSLR, it'll plug into a Canon, a Nikon that has a, any kind of mic jack that will plug right in and work perfectly for you. This uh, little toggle will shut off one of the, the one of the R's in the TRRS to make it a TRS jack, just a normal 3.5 left and right stereo uh, end. And so again, you can plug this into camera, you can plug this into smartphone, no problem at all. We started with the beginning, which is a TRRS, Again, with the lightning uh, adapter to go into your iPhone, that's the little flat one. You switch it over here from either to camera or smartphone. And then on the end, this is very, very important. This particular Boya microphone is a omnidirectional. And what that means is this microphone picks up sound from all sides. It's gonna pick up myself. It's also gonna pick up any ambient noise comments from the class. This is the perfect microphone for recording a lecture if I'm speaking directly into it, but it will also pick up comments. So if I have this microphone and I've got it clipped on and I'm recording, particularly in a Bible class uh, or a lecture that has some conversational uh, Q&A component, this is a great mic for that. Now, if all you're wanting to do is pick up your own voice, then you're going to end up needing a cardioid microphone. I'll put a link also for that in the description. A cardioid microphone picks up kind of a heart pattern around the front of the microphone itself. So anything coming in from the side, which would be omnidirectional, anything coming in from out here is not going to get picked up. It's just going to pick up what you're saying right in front of it. That's a really important difference because if you're going to lecture or you're going to be preaching a sermon or teaching something where you don't want the ambient noise to enter into your recording, uh, a cardioid microphone is the right one for you. So if you're going to use uh, another microphone other than, than the Boya, something that doesn't have TRRS, and you just have a normal uh, stereo right and left, if you look at your 3.5 jack or 1 8 inch jack and you notice that there's just two black rings around it, there's just two sections. That's a stereo right and left. That's not going to work with an iPhone. Uh, what you're going to need to do to make that work with an iPhone, like let's say you have a Rode or a Shure mic on top of your camera and you want to be able to plug that uh, into, take that off your camera and plug it into an iPhone, you're going to need an adapter, a TRS, which is a stereo left and right, to TRRS, which is stereo left and right, plus a data or a microphone input adapter. This is the one that I use. This is from Rode. And again, you just take uh, your normal stereo jack, which is a TRS, which is a right and left, two black rings, plug it in the end, and then that adapts to a three black ring TRRS that you then plug into your lightning adapter and plug this into your phone. Now I can plug any different microphone that has a 3.5 millimeter just right and left jack and adapt it into my iPhone. In order to record on your iPhone, you're going to go to your voice memos, you're going to tap it, you're going to start a new recording. As this records into the microphone that you've clipped on, you've just stuck your phone in your pocket, stuck the cord in your pocket, you've got the mic going, you're teaching, you're preaching, you're lecturing, you're having Q&A conversation if it's a, if it's a multi-directional or omnidirectional mic. In your voice memos on your iPhone, you're going to start recording. When it's done, you're going to hit stop, then you're going to hit the three little dots, you're going to hit save to, and you're going to say iCloud. Then you're going to go to iCloud.com, and you're going to enter in your username and your password for your Apple ID. 
that's going to open it up to where you to your files to your pictures your movies and you're going to open up again just to your audio files and I'm going to put this on the screen so you can see exactly what this looks like you're going to open that up go to the one you want click it download it and it's going to save it as a m4a now that's not usable in a lot of programs uh, audacity will not convert an m4a and so I'm going to provide a link in the description that's going to show you a website that you can upload your M4A to and it will produce a WAV or an MP3 file. Once you download that, you have exactly what you need. You can put it in post-production and uh, you, you have all that you need. You can create an archive of your sermons, of your Bible classes. You know, one of the biggest things that I wish I had done over the years was to record the content of my classes. These are such wasted resources. We teach to 20 or 30 or 40 or 100 people but we have no archive of that other than just files on a computer somewhere. It'd be really nice to have a, an audio library of the content that we've created over the years because some of that is just so invaluable and thousands of hours have gone into creating this content. Why not let it bless more and more people? If this is something you want to do, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about what you're teaching, love to hear about what you're preaching, and maybe your church is really small. You don't have much of an AV budget. This would be a really easy way without buying an audio interface or a handy H4N Pro or a H5 or H6. You know, there's a lot of more complicated um, equipment or hardware that you can buy to pull off the exact same thing, and some of that has a little bit better quality, but these mics have it's just as much quality as pretty much as you're going to need. It's so handy. Again, you just plug it in your phone, drop it in your pocket, and teach. It's really no big deal. You don't have to carry a lot of equipment. don't have to plug into a wall. You can throw it in a suitcase, throw it in a bag, uh, keep it in your pocket on a trip. No big deal. And again, this travels. You can take it to a lectureship. You could take a guest preaching, throw it in the cup holder in your car, and, uh, and you're good to go. So I hope this has been a blessing to you. If so, I'd love for you to subscribe and just catch more videos like this as we equip, as we train, as we teach in ministry skills and theology. Uh, I hope this is a channel for you. I enjoy doing it, and I hope that you enjoy watching. God bless, and uh, we'll catch you next time.